Thank you, Carly. And we are still following that breaking news out of Vancouver this morning. Take a look right here. You can just see that fire and the size of it. It started around 3.30 this morning. It is happening at a construction site. We have also learned that that was supposed to be a four-story apartment building. Our Brent Weisberg is live at the scene and has been there all morning. Brent, what have you learned recently? Alicia, good morning to you. The fire is still burning, but let me show you how intense this fire was earlier this morning. This is one of those plastic cones that we all know we see throughout the town as there are road construction projects, but just look at how mangled it is. It was burned so extensively that it basically collapsed, and as I put this down to it, you can see the field over here on the back side of this building uh, that was under construction. You can see it looks like a wildfire actually came through here because the grass is so charred. And I want to show you one other thing to show you how intense this fire was this morning. The lamp posts over here are also melted. You can see the plastic covering around it. It is just dripping right now. It has basically frozen after it was melted. Take a look at some video from earlier this morning as well around 3.30. This video shows how intense the flames were here along Southeast Tech Center Drive in Vancouver. Vancouver firefighters tell me that this was a second alarm fire. At this point, they don't know what caused it. They are still quite a ways away from being able to tell us uh, anything about their investigation because simply the fire is still burning. They say they need to first let the fire go out, then they need to let it cool down before they can even get on the inside to start walking around. I did talk to the Vancouver Fire Marshal. She's telling me that it is expected they will bring in a special dog that has the ability to detect any accelerants to see if this was suspicious. But she does tell me this is very highly unusual. Things like this do not happen here in Vancouver. This was a four-story apartment building that was under construction. It was going to house 91 units, and again, uh, it was supposed to be a, an apartment building, four stories, set to open in February 2015, we understand. The reason the fire spread so quickly, according to Vancouver firefighters, is because it was under construction and there wasn't any barrier. So the fire just quickly spread and consumed this entire site here. You can still see in this live picture that the flames are still burning. Fire investigators are here. Uh, they are right now walking around the scene, taking photos, uh, trying to see if there's any evidence. Again, it's, it's not expected. They won't get inside the scene until likely tomorrow. Reporting live in Vancouver, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. Thank you, Brent. Seeing all of that plastic melt really puts it in perspective.